What's up, guys? It's Oblivion. So, I've been going to YouTube to find ways, the fastest way to level up, and I've been finding any. I've been finding some, yes, and it's, some of them are, are this. But the problem about those YouTubers is the fact that they don't show how to get there, or what's the lowest level you can be there, and etc. So, I'm going to explain that. Um, by the way, I apologize for my, for my microphone quality. It's really bad. I'm going to need to buy one. This headset I'm using is kind of old. I had it since PS3, so yeah, I'm cheap. I need to buy a new one sooner or later. Well, soon actually, but yeah. Well, anyway, so this is the fastest way to level up. This is also a really good way to make gold, and this is a really good way to get discipline. Okay. Um. So we're gonna. We need to go. To, the place, the location that we're gonna be at is the Great Wall. This is where you want to go. Okay. Here's Grand Soren. You want to take this? You want to take this route? Well, you can take this route too. Um, I did this when I was level 30, so you probably will have a hard time coming up here. Especially if you come up here, you're gonna bump into snow harpies and dire wolves, and they're they're actually kind of hard. Because I'm playing this on hard mode, first of all. And then over here, you're probably just gonna go against bandits and uh, those lizard guys with the spears. I think it's better if you come up here. You're also gonna fight. A Chimera, so I'll watch out for that. Right here, there's a Chimera right here. If if you're a low level, if you're trying to level up quickly, go up there. That is, and you're gonna go against female bandits. You're gonna go against like probably like two Cyclopses and so on. So it's probably gonna be a hard time to get up there, unless you can run through them. But yeah, this is where you wanna go, and the lowest level. I did this when I was level 30, so I think that you can do it at 30, depending on what you are. So when I came here at level 30, I literally leveled up all the way to 76, and it took me about an hour and a half to do this, to actually make it to that level. So yeah, this is a really good way. And discipline is fantastic, because look. Hi. Just name it, sir. Well, what's say? I literally bought everything, and... I had 65 discipline when I bought everything. Now I'm back to 81. So this really proves that this is extremely good. I got everything, and everything's expensive. 9,000, 3,500, 7,000, etc. Well, so this is a really good coming. way to get discipline. Also, the only way you can do this is at nighttime. All right, you have to be there at night. Now, if you can do this alone, because if you're doing it alone without no pawns. You'll get more XP, way more XP. I don't recommend you bringing a uh, a level 200, a level 100 pawn. Because, one, if they're higher, you're not going to get a lot of XP. I mean, you're going to get a lot, but you're not going to get more. This. So right now, I got this pawn with me. It's not mine. I don't. I, I forgot who it belongs to. And if it's a strider, take off the bow. Because you don't want them killing... Killing the floating weird looking Grim Reaper thing, the Mage Grim Reaper, whatever. You don't want them killing it. So if you can, get rid of the bow. Make sure they're low levels. I mean, you don't need a pawn unless you're a low level like me or unless you can hold your own. Because the reason is, is the pawn will try to kill it and that's something you don't want. And if you got an overpowered pawn, they'll most likely one shot it or just kill it very quickly. And you really do not want that. So yeah, do it by yourself. I recommend doing it by yourself. I was level 30, so I had this character with me at the time, just in case, because so, they can get so the skeletons can chase her instead of me, and etc. Now let's do this. Now another thing, if that thing dies, you're gonna have to sleep for seven to eight days for it to respawn. So if it dies, that's literally how many times you're gonna have to sleep. Just name it, sir. Luckily, this dude only has a hundred gold. All right. So again, only at night time. You can only do this at night. So here we are. It's night time. I'm gonna put on my lantern really quick. Make sure you have a good amount of healing and some mushrooms because if you're playing as a ranger or so on, you're gonna get tired quickly. You don't want these. Yes, right you don't want these skeleton warriors to hit you because they. They take a lot of damage. And I'm a ranger, so I'm mostly running the tenfold flurry. That's literally how I'm wiping them out. So, we're gonna follow this road. 
Here's the road. This is where we're gonna go. Once you see this tree and these two trees, you want to go towards here. And there he is, that thing. Is that bird song? Perhaps we'll find a nest nearby. A white! Uh, see, that's what he does. When he does that little purple little jiggy, he's gonna spawn these, and these are what you want to kill. You just keep killing these over and over and over again. And it gives you amazing XP. Look at that. I leveled up so fast. Right there. Now, make sure your pawn doesn't get too close to it because when he does the summoning, he will land and your pawn will attack. So, walk away. Just away from the thing so the pawn can follow you. And as soon as he spawns again, do it again. They'll constantly drop materials such as hard bone, scrap iron, or even those little uh, green balls. I forget what they're called. But this is an extremely good way to make XP. And if you get like uh, one of those rings that give you more XP when you get a kill, this is perfect for this. This is the perfect place to do it. Sometimes you'll get lucky, well, you'll drop a, a bunch of bags of these of uh, 10,000. Well, that's all they drop is 10,000 or the 100. And yeah. All you keep doing. And, when, and um, another thing. When a sun comes out, as soon as as soon as sunrise happens, he will not spawn any more of those skeletons. No more. So once that happens, the same road that you took to come back, I mean to come to this location, you want to take that same road and go back to uh, to the stronghold, to the Great Wall, and you have to sleep it off at night. That's literally it. That's the only time he's going to spawn them is at night time. But this is the best way to get a lot of XP. This is also the best way to make to not the best way to make gold, but it's a really good way to make gold. But a really good, but this is also a really good way to get a lot of discipline. So, um, again, I apologize for the uh, microphone quality. I appreciate you standing through it for through this whole length of the video, and I hope this was helpful. I right, thank you, and I hope you enjoyed it. Well, goodbye and have a great day.